This is Sean Bodley with Clear Technologies and in a, another joint partnership with the ITSO. I'm about to perform a demonstration of how to perform an offline migration from PowerHA version 6.1 to what is the latest and greatest PowerHA version 7.2 which GA'd on 12.4 of 2015. But before I give the demonstration let me give an overview of my cluster config. You will see here that I have 6.1 SP12. Now SP15 is actually the latest and since 6.1 is out of support it will always be the latest service pack and development always recommends using the latest fix pack available before migrating. Now I started off with SP12 first and it worked so I kept it. Uh, my additional migrations, I did go ahead and upgrade to SP15, uh, but for this one I had SP12. Uh, we'll actually um, see a reference to that in something called CL MIGCheck later, pointing out that we don't have the latest installed, so that's something unique. Um, I already have AIX version 7.2, which supports PowerHA 7.2, so in this case, I don't have to perform an AIX upgrade or even an update. However, it is expected that it would be quite common if you're upgrading from 6.1 to probably have to uh, at least update the TL, if not do a full AIX uh, migration as well. So I have a simple two node cluster with a single service IP address and a single data volume group in a single network. So now let me give a quick overview of the steps required to perform an offline migration. It says the name implies it's offline. This requires a full outage, a maintenance window to actually perform this upgrade. So you start off by stopping the cluster services on all nodes in the cluster. Uh, once you do, perform the upgrade of AIX if needed. Um, or do an update if you just need to have a, a higher TL level to support PowerHA version 7.2. Now, depending on where you're coming from, if you're coming before 6.1.7 or before even 7.1.0 of AIX, you, you will not have this boss.cluster file set installed. Uh, so when you upgrade to a level that does support it, it won't automatically be installed for you either because it didn't exist. So most likely, unless you've already created your own uh, custom install um, image and uh, script routine to perform it through NIM, you may have to install this file set separately. But it's, it's where Clusterware AIX comes from and it is a requirement. So make sure that you have it installed. And then once you have the appropriate levels, then reboot. Uh, you can do these in parallel since you have a full cluster outage. You can upgrade and reboot both of them at the same time. Uh, after you reboot, then there is some flexibility of when to do these next couple of steps, but I like to do them as shown, which is go ahead and update the Etsy cluster R hosts with the host name information of each node in the cluster. Once you do that, refresh the CLcomd daemon with a refresh minus s on CLcomd. On one node, go ahead and execute the CLmigcheck. Now CLmigcheck is unique in that it only is applicable when migrating from pre-version 7 to version 7. So in a version 6.1 to 7 something migration you're always going to be running a CL MIG check. This, uh, these steps are exactly the same as they were from 6.1 to 7.1 or 7.1.3. The small difference is, is that there are additional enhancements to the CL MIG check menus in version 7.2. So we will see that. So when I perform CL MIG check, 
the very first thing you do is you choose option 1 and this is one of the new things in version 7.2 specifically is that it asks you what version of PowerHA you're migrating to. Now in previous releases the CL MIG check script comes with the AIX level and there were assumptions made that if you're upgrading to this specific level of AIX then you are also upgrading to the level of PowerHA that is supported on that which is usually what was the latest available at that time for that version of AIX. Well that always wasn't the case and there are different restrictions that have changed through each release so it's important to know exactly which one you're upgrading to so the checks that are made are performed appropriately based on those levels. So in this case we're going to choose option 5 to tell it 7.2. Once we get back to the main menu we're going to choose option 2 to verify the ODM. If everything comes back clean then we're going to run uh, option 4 to tell it what we want to use is our um, cluster IP address and the shared repository disk. So after we run it once then we can turn around and uh, upgrade the HA software on the node where we just ran the CL MIG check. Uh, I usually just do this via an update all. Uh, once that's completed we run CL MIG check on the next node. Now once it's already been executed and all the blanks filled in then you won't get the menu again it'll actually create the CAA cluster at that time. Once the cluster creates successfully then it'll tell us we can go ahead and upgrade to the next uh, level, in our case version 7.2. Once that's been updated you simply start the cluster services again, let everybody rejoin the cluster, and then as you should always do upon completion of an upgrade is you should thoroughly test the cluster. You should do at least simple resource group moves back and forth, any hard failures you can invoke uh, to test the more the better. So um, absolutely, just because the upgrade finished and completed and started, it should be thoroughly tested as well. Uh, just a few things for um, some additional resources. You're probably already viewing this on my YouTube channel anyway, but the big thing here is uh, check out the PowerHA Wiki. It has a lot of uh, resources for red books, how-to tips, white papers, uh, all of these additional videos and demos as well so hopefully you'll find that to be quite useful and um, feel free to contribute to it as well. So now I'm going to uh, switch over and pull up my test cluster and I've already previously recorded uh, performing the migration on that test cluster. Okay you can see that I have my cluster online I have a single file system on my single drive volume group called data VG and that my HA service address is online. So first thing I need to do is I need to stop the cluster on all nodes and tell it to bring the resource groups offline. Now in my case it's a single resource group on the primary node uh, only. So even though we get the OK prompt back very quickly it doesn't mean that it is actually completed. You can tell the log or you can use CLSTAT or usually my preference is to use uh, QHA that I use a lot in my demos. Uh, but you can also look at Cluster Manager ES to see that it's in the init state. So primary is in init and so is the secondary. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll prove that my OS level uh, supports PowerHA version 7.2. I have AIX 7.2 on both nodes along with the boss.cluster is installed as well. Now I've already updated Etsy cluster our host. I'm actually going to come back and show you that here in a bit and refresh CLComD and because of that I can run CLMIG check. So it knows that it's been run before, but I'm going to tell it to continue anyway. 
And then it tells me, hey, you know, you're only SP12. The latest is SP15. Do you want to continue? Yeah, I'm going to continue. I'm going to live dangerously. So you may have noticed, too, it scrolled by that Seal MIGCHECK actually made a snapshot for us. It's always been a good recommendation to create a snapshot before you perform a migration. So then I choose option one to tell it what version of HA I'm upgrading to. In our case, we're upgrading to version 7.2, so I'm going to type in option 5, and it'll take me right back to the main menu. Once I've finished with option 1, now I tell it to check my ODM configuration. So I choose option 2, and it validates that, hey, you know what? You've got a disk heartbeat network configured, which isn't supported in version 7, but don't worry about it, it's going to remove it for you anyway. So it's actually expected that most people would actually run into this particular warning because disk heartbeat is quite common. So I'll go ahead and press enter, tell it to continue anyway, and it tells me there's nothing unsupported. So I hit enter one more time, it'll take me back to the uh, primary menu here. And now I can tell it option four to enter the repository disk and IP information. So because Etsy Cluster R host has already been updated with my host name information, it it um, it does what's called a discovery. And um, I'm actually going to see it in the next section here. It's going to give me a list of disks to choose from from the repository disk, and that's how it gets it is during that discovery process. But first, I'm going to do a three to tell it unicast, and then there's my list of disks to choose from. So I'm going to choose my one gig disk, which is number four, and then it says, okay, there's nothing else you need to do. You can go ahead and install the new version of HA. So in my case, I'm already in the directory that I have these 7.2 images on. So out of habit, I always do a preview and accept new licenses on just about anything that I'm installing to try to greatly minimize my chance of success. So the preview looks like it's okay here. So now I will go ahead and tell it to install for real. And I've time edited this just a bit, but it still installs very quickly. And again, I have to complete this on one note at a time from start to finish. And also at the time of recording, there are no service packs available for version 7.2, hence why only 7.2.0.0 is being installed. So now that is completed on the primary node, I switch back over and run CL make check on the secondary node. And I'm just showing here that I don't have any repository disk information uh, showing up. So when I run CL make check, it too is still telling me about the fix level. And yes, I know, but please continue anyway. And that this is going to create the CAA cluster for me. And that's okay. So while that's running, you can see that CAA VG Private has showed up on one. I can see the cluster information, and now it's telling me that I must install the update, the new version 7, on the other node remaining in the cluster. So this I'm just validating CAA VG Private on both sides, and I can list the cluster information. And now I can perform the update on the second system. So now I'll just do an update all just like I did on the first system. Again, preview and accept out of habit. 
comes back clean. Now I'll go ahead and tell it to install for real. After I validate everything looks good. And the installation is completed. So at this point, all I need to do is go ahead and restart both nodes into the cluster. So I will choose both of them. I can also do this now from the command line quite easily with CL Manager. I could just do a CLMGR start cluster and uh, it would do that for me. So I'm just tailing the log here. I can see that it's coming up on the first node. Um, now I'm showing my QHA status on the second node, which shows that I have version 7.2. That the cluster is already stabilized on the primary node, and it's still coming up on the second node. And now it's completed. So. I stopped this here because the, the cluster is stable, everything's done, but I wanted to highlight in the log about this network down complete, about the disk heartbeat. I mentioned that disk heartbeat's not supported in version 7, and it's not. So two minutes after the cluster starts, it will actually delete that type of network from your cluster configuration. So it's quite normal that you'll get that network down complete message. And then if you actually look at your CLLSIF, your topology information, and watch it for a couple minutes, it'll actually be deleted automatically. So uh, overall, that's it. Now, my cluster's been upgraded, everything's stable, but again, perform your due diligence and test the cluster uh, to ensure that it's working as expected. So as always, Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them here online or send me an email at the email address listed at the beginning of this presentation. Thanks again.